Oh, looks like we got a guy doing some fishing over here. See how he's making out. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? How are they hitting? Uh, a little slow. Haven't even gotten a bite yet. No bites, huh? No bites. Yeah, it's usually a pretty good spot here. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we got some major pit blind problems right now. Um, as you can see, we're full of water, three quarters away full, which sucks. I mean, I rubbed this whole thing in a liner, so I'm not sure how all this water got in here. Um, and that's not even the biggest problem, is actually the pit uh, came out of the ground a solid 18 inches, it looks, mainly this side, which I can't believe because I've had other pits here and it's never done that. You can actually can see where my old one is. Uh, that the ground settled some uh, So we're gonna have to get some dirt in here, but this is where my old pit was but you can see how much that came up So we are going to have to bring the excavator back in here Dig this completely out and get this seated back. I almost thought about maybe just pulling this side of the um, The pit up and bring in some dirt because we are in a low spot and just grade it off like that um, But I think I'm gonna have to get the excavator up here dig all this completely out either possibly lift this up or dig a separate hole pull it back um fix it stick it back to where it needs to be but we have some major major issues um if we do dig it out we're probably gonna have to dig um this side good put stone and we're gonna have to daylight uh the, a trench out uh, and it has to go pretty far too because uh, this field does start to pitch back quite a bit uh, but we'll have to daylight this out and probably have to go halfway down this field at least for that to start coming out um, So my pond right here does have a liner in it. This isn't groundwater that holds this uh, We filled it from a creek and a pond in the back So the only reason this even has water in here is just because there's a liner underneath So we've got some major problems. This is like the never-ending saga with a pip line So any of you guys have pip lines, I don't know if you have any better ideas, but you know, wrapping a liner around it to try to keep the water out didn't work. Um, and I can't believe that it actually floated out of the ground. And what I think happened, it actually lifted out of the ground and all this dirt that we backfilled around it slid underneath. Um, and that's what hold it up because it's, it's super solid right now. So I'm going to start pumping it again, get it pumped out. But it's going to need some serious, serious attention um, in the next coming months to get this buttoned up. And we're going to have to daylight it and drain it out because... Uh, or get drainage because it'll just happen again. So we don't want to keep on doing this every year I thought this was built good legit. It stayed dry all season um, And as you can see it's more or less completely full which is crazy because we actually dug a test hole in here um, For the pond because that's six foot deep had no water and this is nowhere near that and uh, that, that came up so uh, Major problem for sure, but we'll get it fixed <laughs> All right, so we got the pit pumping down uh, one, of, one of my bigger pumps, so it should be uh, half an hour 40 minutes to get this thing pumped out but i'm curious if uh when we actually pump it out if it's actually going to float up even higher because like i said it was good in the spring then i pumped it down once and uh then it floated but i cannot believe that so we'll see what happens i'll get this down pumped all the way and we'll see for where water's coming in and uh we'll go from there i got it pumped took about an hour and a half I have no clue where this water's coming in. Uh, like I said, I lined this hole with a, a liner, a pool liner. So the hole itself has a line around it. Then we put this pit in it. And I don't see water coming in anywhere. So I'm kind of curious to where it came in. I don't know if it's like slightly coming in under the wall right here. But I don't see anything. So kind of bummer. I'm glad I braced this because this one down here looked like it was going to pop up a little bit. And the whole pit must have shifted because this was centered under this hole. So it looked like the whole pit shifted six inches forward too, which I have no clue how it did that. So, um, but I actually can see some liner right down in that crack. And I bet you that's mud and muck that floated underneath this. And that's why it's not sitting back down. It's sitting on... Uh, a bunch of mud. So I guess worst case scenario, I might be able to rip up some of these boards, dig down, and um, I might be able to get it set, but I don't know. I'd have to rip this whole floor up and do a ton of digging down here just to see, but um, it's drained. So that's a plus. I just um, don't know where the 
the water's coming in from. And I cannot believe this thing floated out of the ground like it did. Ugh. I mean, we're literally 18 inches up probably on this back side, which is pretty insane. I don't know why that side stayed fine and then this side went up it's so high, I don't get it. Especially right here I mean that is like insane so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to dig out with an excavator and daylight that out all the way there but that's gonna be like a 500 600 foot ditch five feet down probably that I'm gonna have to do but got some major pit line problems which absolutely sucks so back to the drawing boards and uh, I'll make a video 